I've had this doll for over two months now and she's been lying at the foot of my bed ever since I got her. That's how you know you have a shopping addiction when you just buy random sh and leave it unopened in a pile of boxes. That American Girl end of year sale did a number on me and I have hundreds of dollars worth of stuff to unbox still. Y'all, I had like $150 worth of rewards after all of this, so according to my calculations, all this shit was free. So today we're gonna unbox all of the stuff I got with my rewards and we're gonna finally get number 124 out of the box and out of that millennial trash tall tee that she definitely got at TJ Maxx. I know y'all miss some of those TLC TV shows like My Strange Addiction and Hoarders, Intervention. And let me tell ya, I'm two tin cans and a cat turd away from needing an intervention. So I guess welcome to another episode of My Strange Hoarding Addiction. I can't even tell you everything that's under the file. I just know it's things that I've collected over the years. If you think I have a problem, no, you don't. Okay, so clearly we have a lot to get through today. I'm gonna go through kind of the boring stuff quickly, especially because I'm out of breath after doing that stupid bit you just saw. I'm like literally out of breath. I need to go outside and get some exercise and stop playing with dolls. So yeah, I had my rewards points and truthfully I spent a little bit extra, but largely what you're seeing today, I basically got as a reward for spending so much money in the you know end of year sale with American Girl because the points were wild and I bought like six dolls. It was crazy. So many of you know I am collecting Courtney and the Hoffman twins and I would like to get their entire complete collection so I am gradually chipping away at Courtney. I don't have that much left of hers to get but I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of grab some things because I think they were doing like two times points with this stuff too so I don't know. So yeah anyway we have just some extra things that you know are just kind of filler stuff for Courtney's collection from the mix and match. So I got the tights set. I got this super ugly jacket, which I'm hoping I like more when I take it out and start using it. But there were so many cool things they could have done for the 80s. I don't know why they made this like, I don't know, it's like the ugliest thing out of Blossom's wardrobe. We have a couple of pairs of mini skirts, which I think would be really fun to, again, mix and match. And my favorite for Courtney out of this set is this ridiculously over the top campy, fringe white leather jacket. So we might open this up today and try it on either 124 or I kind of see my number 80 over there eyeing me. I've really been enjoying her lately. So we might let her make a cameo today. We might put her in this, we'll see. But this was my favorite thing I got for Courtney and maybe we'll open it in a minute. I also got a few things from Nikki and Isabel's collection or who I sometimes mistakenly refer to as Inky and Isabel. Uh, but yeah, they. I just love that collection. I mean, I was, alive during that era and sadly these are historical characters that I'm older than so that's really great for my self-esteem. So yeah I picked up a few things like most notably this uh what is this even called the slumber party kit which I'm not really that jazzed about anything in here except for like this tiny little claw clip with smiley faces on it so we'll open this up and look at that in a minute. We also have Nikki's what are, again, I don't know what this stuff is called off the top of my head. Skater Dream Sleep Shirt. I mean, hello, Avril Lavigne. But I thought this one would be a really good one um, that I could use as a t-shirt. I'm hoping I can actually fold the bottom of this up and use this sort of as day wear for Nikki. I also got Nikki's red vinyl jumper outfit, which we all know was the original meat outfit from, I think, the year 2000 for the American Girl of today. I have the original version of this in mint condition, but I truthfully wanted a brand new one that I could kind of use a little bit more easily because I'm terrified of using my original one because it doesn't have any cracks or anything on it. So it'll be nice to have one that I can use without being completely riddled with a panic attack every time I open one of the snaps. And I also got Nikki's skateboarding outfit. And again, mainly for the overalls in it, but I won't lie, I was kind of excited about having like a skateboard the size of a tech deck roughly. So this will be really cool too. And then funnily enough, I didn't get anything from Isabel's collection, but the things that I got, I think would be perfect for her. Like I got the World Traveler of France outfit, which I think is perfect for her. And I also got the Ireland one. I've actually had this before, but I returned it because like I got it two years ago and I ended up returning it because the tights were messed up and I never bought another one. But I finally got one again because I really do love this set. And then from the new Truly Me collection, I absolutely had to have this accessory set with the beret, sunglasses, purse, and that adorable little heart glitter ring. I was dying to get this, so I definitely picked this up, as well as the Hot Topic Mall Rat loafers. 
and gay as hell shiny pink cowboy boots. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny. I post multiple videos there every single month, and it's all content you can't find anywhere else on the internet. We're talking hours and hours worth of content. I show off my obscure American Girl finds, I talk about drama in the doll community, and I open all the mail that you don't see on the YouTube channel. We have a really great community over there, and I'd love for you to join us. It's the best thing you can do to help support my channel so I can keep making these videos. And best of all, it costs almost nothing. So what are you waiting for? Also, while I'm at it, be sure to check out my shop at idreamofjohnny.com where you can get tons of awesome merch and the occasional vintage item. All right, that's my sales pitch. Back to me. So yeah, let's just go ahead and tear into all of this stuff. We've got a lot to open today and I'm really excited about all of this stuff, especially because so much of it can be used as separate. So let's just start with Nikki's skateboarding outfit. I really wanna see that skateboard. So I know I've seen like a million pictures of these, but like I said, I grew up in this era. I was like 16 around the time um, Nikki and Isabel's stories are placed. So it's really fun to kind of relive all of this stuff. And like I said, I was so excited to see the skateboard which it's not disappointing. It's actually, I don't know why I thought it was going to be the size of a tech deck, which would have been comical to see an American Girl doll on, but it is a little bit bigger. Like those, I think they're called handboards. I didn't get into this stuff too much, but I remember it. But this is very Y2K and honestly like mid late nineties as well with this plaid and the smiley face and the yin yang. Yeah, this definitely gives me Y2K vibes. And I think it's really, really cool. Hopefully Nikki is better at skateboarding than I was. I fell on my ass so many times trying to learn to skateboard that I eventually gave up. I was like worried I was gonna break my wrist. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna stick to the rollerblades. And we also have an alien on here. That's another one of my favorite motifs from the 90s. So we have a very period accurate puffer vest. Again, I probably had something exactly like this, but just instead of pink, it was probably green. We have a nice basic magenta tee that I think would work great as a wardrobe staple. We have a pair of slip-on shoes, which I'm guessing are meant to be like van slip-on without infringing on the copyright, but that's really fun too. And everybody's favorite part of this outfit, these super versatile overalls. I'm really glad they put these in this set because most of the vintage overall things you can buy, like the Girl of Today stuff or kits things are really expensive, like on the resale market. So it's nice that you can buy these brand new. Although that said, these are expensive <laughs> to buy directly from American Girl too. But from what I can tell, the quality is pretty good. And I think I'm always going to have a doll on these. I think these are really, really great. Fun fact, my Isabel and Nikki dolls are still packed away from the move. I haven't laid eyes on them <laughs> since I was in Oregon. So I literally haven't seen those dolls in like six months, which is really sad because they're some of my favorite dolls from my American Girl dot com collection so i am missing them i think that they're so cool and i would love to be able to put them in this but truth be told my closet is still like piled high with boxes and they're probably like knowing me i will go to get them out and they'll be like in the bottom back corner so i think they're gonna live in the closet for a little while sorry girls can't say that i haven't done the same another piece from nikki's collection that i really love is the skater dream sleep shirt and like i alluded to earlier i'm really interested in trying to turn this into basically a t-shirt instead Instead of a nightgown, I guess you would call this, but this is so cool. I mean, again, this is a very Y2K. I would have owned so many things similar to this, maybe not with the pink, but certainly like going to Pacific Sunwear, or as they call it, I guess, Pac Sun now. This is so Pac Sun. In fact, I'm really curious what this looks like with a t shirt on over it. Those of you that lived long enough know that like one of the popular things to do in the 90s was wear a long sleeve t shirt underneath a short sleeve t-shirt. Again, a look that I <laughs> used and abused in the late 90s as you know, a kid that was into alternative music and stuff. That was my look. So I don't know if these two look good together, but this might actually make a really good undershirt for a t-shirt for Nikki as well. This set also came with slippers. Now, I think these are just generic monkey slippers. I can't remember if Paul Frank was a thing in year 2000. I know it was definitely sort of in the late 2000s. So I'm gonna assume this is kind of like a Paul Frank throwback. I don't love the design of the monkey, the, you know, that iconic monkey. So I'm really glad that they kind of made this a little more generic. I actually like this better than the Paul Frank logo. I would love to someday get their beds and the bedroom set and everything that goes with it. I almost got, uh, I think it's Isabel's set with the husband pillow and the Tamagotchi, like that little miniature Tamagotchi. I almost got it, but I don't have room for any of that stuff because I don't have a dollhouse or anything. So 
I didn't want to just buy all that and then have like a little like one inch Tamagotchi like lying around. So someday I would like to get that, but I would really love their whole bedroom set with a computer. I just, again, I really, really love their collection. So um, yeah, it is my goal to buy everything eventually, but certainly like with the furniture, I'm going to kind of cool it for a year or two until I can get settled in a new house. And then the final set for the twins is, actually, this is really cool. I didn't pick up on this before, but it is fun how they will actually actually take the um, logo and they'll mix it if it's for both the girls. So you see how it says Isabel and Nikki here. If it's meant for just Nikki, they'll just leave Isabel out of it. So I think that's pretty cool. I, you know, again, just attention to detail and it's fun that you can buy things that are meant for both of them. So anyway, let's peek into the slumber party kit and maybe I'll like it more like actually seeing it in person. I mean, sometimes when I'm shopping online, I feel like I miss some of the details because there's just so much stuff to look at. And then you get the set in person and you're like, oh yeah, I didn't really notice that in the pictures. So again, there's a ton of stuff that comes in this. So we'll kind of go through it one by one, starting with, this, I guess this is meant to be like a weekender bag, but truthfully, this is more what like a laptop bad bag would have looked like back in the 2000s. I still think of a weekender from this era looking a little bit more like a gym bag, but the material is right for one for sure. But I love this. It has the original American Girl of Today logo on it. I don't know if this was an actual product that they released for like the child size. So let me know in the comments if they actually have like a child size version of this. I might actually pick it up. But yeah, this is meant to hold all of the slumber party accessories. So yeah. Oh, actually one cool detail is it actually has a piece of elastic in here. So you can actually hold everything in place in there, which I probably will do. We have a one third scale version of The Care and Keeping of You, which is one of American Girl's most iconic books. I have never read it because I don't have a need to read it. So I probably will never crack the spine of this. We've got what I th thought was a shaver for a second. What is this? Is it a flashlight? Hang on, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a flashlight and I don't think it works because I don't see a place for a battery, but I swear I thought this was like <laughs> an electric shaver. Is this for like reading this under the covers? I, that's not something you do at a sleepover, but for whatever reason we have a flashlight. You know what, if it's for Nikki, I could totally see Nikki being like, I'm sick of this sleepover. I wanna go home and sleep in my own bed alone and she's gonna need a flashlight to find her way home in the middle of the night. Jennifer, if you're watching, let me know if that checks out. We have what looks to be nail polish yep nail polish and again I only had very minimal experiences with nail polish in the 90s and early 2000s again I was into alternative music so I've painted my nails black a few times but it never really took so I don't know a whole lot about nail polish but I am sure this is modeled after something from the 2000s I'm really weird and like to not mix up the bag so the little miniature bag that this came in I try and make sure <laughs> that I know which one the nail polish was from and which one the flashlight or shaver was from ah the perks of mental illness we have a toothbrush which is great I was gonna make a joke about dental hygiene but then I'll probably get five people in my comment section telling me that I need to go to the orthodontist. Thanks a lot. So yeah, I think this, oh, this comes apart. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, I was gonna say this was an electric toothbrush, but this is actually a travel toothbrush. So I think this is meant to go like, come out like this and then go in here. And that's how you travel and don't get the bristles of your toothbrush all nasty. We have another thing that I remember very clearly from the 90s, and that's one of these like folding hairbrushes. I don't know if there was a specific brand that made these, but I can picture, they came in all different colors and they looked a lot like this. So basically like a little clamshell thing that you could kind of fold up and put in your pocket and then like unfolds like this. And then the bristles like kind of push out like that. That is so cool that they made this actually functioning at a one third scale, but yeah, and it usually would have a mirror in it too. So this is very, very accurate from this time period. I love that they made one of these. This is probably my second favorite piece from this set, actually. This is so cool. And the reason I bought this set in the first place, which again, I guess is psychotic, but sometimes it, like you have to buy like a $40 set for like one tiny little piece of plastic that you really want. And in this case, it was a smiley face claw clip. So again, this is very, very 90s. I think this is more 90s than like Y2K. I associate the smiley face more with like early maybe to mid 90s I mean think like Nirvana and I don't know just I remember having like smiley face necklaces and rings and things like that and drawing them all over my notebooks so I think this is maybe a vintage piece for 
Mickey or Isabel. I don't know which of them would wear this, but this was the single piece that I bought this whole set for. And again, I don't even know how I'm going to style their hair with this because it'll probably just end up in the back anyway and you can't see it. But again, I had to have it. It reminded me of my childhood. All right, let's zip up this bag and move on to the next. All right, next up for Nikki, we have her red vinyl jumper outfit, which again is the Y2K meat outfit. I think it was Y2K. Or was it 1998? It was 1998. I forgot. It's one of the two, but this is a reproduction of an original American Girl outfit, which all of us old people were so excited to see this collection when they released it because this didn't come out when the dolls first came out. I think this was like a mid-year release, if I recall correctly, but it has this piece that honestly, I feel like American Girl owes us because so few of these survived because they used a not great material to make this stuff with in the like in back in the 90s so most of the ones that exist today that are vintage are in really really awful shape so i hope that these will stand the test of time hopefully they've learned their lesson so again like i said i feel like american girl kind of owed it to us to re-release this so you know it's a little bit different but it's great that people can finally have this and enjoy it because like i said i have the original one and it's in mint condition and probably impossible to replace so i pretty much feel like i can't use it because it does try and crack when i do the snaps and stuff on them which oh this is a one great update that they did to this. So this does, has a Velcro in the back, so you can actually put it on the doll a lot easier. The original one actually doesn't Velcro. It, these snaps are actually functioning in the original one, but this is a great upgrade because again, undoing these snaps are what basically stopped me from putting my original one on the doll because that's where the cracking like starts to happen. So this is really great. Again, my original one is packed up in a safe place, but from the pictures I've seen, I think this one is a little bit shiny than the original but again this has a very very 90s vibe to it and I think it's perfect for their collection. We have the pair of tights that came with this which funnily enough I don't really like this these tights. I, you know, I don't know what it is about them. I think it's just the colors and I've seen so many eBay listings where people say these are from Molly's collection because they definitely look like they belong to Molly. But, you know, if I put this entire outfit together, I will probably use these. But if I do like separates, I probably won't use these that much. You know, some things from the past just need to stay in the past. <laughs> yeah, one of the biggest reasons I purchased this set, other than just trying to complete Nikki and Isabel's collection, is this is such a great separate to have for your collection, this like black turtleneck. And again, this is such a 90s look. Like, I feel like I could just do like put this on either a boy or a girl doll in my collection and maybe put like a necklace with it and a pair of jeans and like it'll look straight out of a Calvin Klein ad. So this is very, very 90s. And this was one of the main reasons I purchased this set is because I wanted another black turtleneck that I could use sort of as a staple in the rest of my collection. We have a pair of scrunchies. Again, the original one came with just one scrunchie and it's kind of fun that we get two so we can do pigtails if we want. So that's really great. And again, we have a pair of essentially Doc Martens Again, a really, really great staple for a doll collection. So between these two pieces, th this was worth the outfit alone just to use as separates for mix and match. So I'm really, really happy with this. And the quality of these boots is actually really good too because you know, over the years, American Girl has done some really great shoes and some that are not so great. From memory, the version of these, like the original version, have more of like a gum sole on them. So it's like a little bit more translucent on the soles of the shoes. But these seem to be made really, really well. So I think they'll stand the test of time and I think they look really great. But yeah, add a little bit of yellow stitching and these would basically be Doc Martens, which were huge in the 90s. All right, that's it for the official twin stuff. But I want to kind of tear into this sort of older stuff from the World Traveler series because again, I think it would look so cool on Isabel or potentially just some of my other Truly Me dolls that I've picked up now that I collect all that stuff thanks to that end of year sale. So here we have the World Traveler in France, which I've had my eye on for a while, but it's kind of expensive. And again, I've been more of a historical vintage collector, so it just made no sense to spend like 40 plus dollars on this. But now that I had all those points and I didn't need to buy another doll, like I have way too many friggin' dolls. So it was time to actually give the new dolls something to wear because I don't have a lot of new outfits from American Girl other than like Courtney's collection. So this was a really great opportunity for me to kind of 
give them a wardrobe and maybe see if I have fun like changing them up seasonally or just, you know, when you're on the phone or doing, you know, if you just want to fidget, sometimes it's fun to just put a new outfit on a doll. So I thought this was a really great look for Isabel and Nikki. And again, or I guess Isabel in particular. So I love this top. It's really cute. And I love the sequin collar on it. Adorable. I've actually been to the Eiffel Tower and when I went, I was again, oh, speaking of Y2K, I went in the year 2000. So I was 16. And I was still learning about myself and the world and everything. And everyone was like, let's go to the Eiffel Tower. So I was like, sweet, let's go to the Eiffel Tower. And that's where I learned I was afraid of heights. So I, you look at pictures of it and you think, you don't realize how big the Eiffel Tower actually is. And you get in it and you go like up the elevator. I think there was an elevator from the ground to the, like there's different tiers. I think there are three tiers of it. There's at least two. And I went up just to that first tier and it's all open. Like it's just basically a bunch of bars all put together. I mean, it's gorgeous and it's an icon, but you're up there and the wind is blowing and you get up there and just that first level is so much higher than you think it's going to be. And I got up there and I was like, oh my God, I was freaking out. Like I, there was no way I was going any higher. So I stayed up there for long enough to smoke a cigarette. Let's be real right now. Um, I was not a big smoker, but again, I was a rebel when I was a kid. So I smoked and did a lot of other things I probably shouldn't have been doing. But anyway, I went to the first level of the Eiffel Tower, stayed long enough to smoke a cigarette. And then I said, peace out. I can't deal with this. So that's where I learned I was afraid of heights. And I can't imagine going to the top of it because I would lose my absolute mind. So anyway, that's my France story, or I guess one of my France stories for you. Um, we have a pink beret, which is absolutely adorable. Um, randomly, I got two pink berets today. Um, this looks like something from Grace's collection too. I bet a lot of people put this on their Grace doll, which maybe I'll get one day. I really like that doll, but again, I have too many dolls. I probably don't need to get her. This is the main piece I actually got this set for because again, what a great separate. And can't you just picture Isabel in this skirt? Um, I'm trying to think of what else I would pair this with, but I this was the main reason alone that I got this. Again, this has such a 90s look to it. And I actually kind of a Y2K as well. Like, I mean, hello, like how Lizzie McGuire is this? So I had to have it. It felt weirdly nostalgic to me because I guess, all of this stuff is coming back into fashion. So, uh, you know, that works out for me. I love going down a nostalgia rabbit hole, as you know. So seeing things with like the 90s and 2000s kind of come back into fashion is really exciting for me. So again, another really great staple, a pink pair of tights, which will probably get a lot of use. And a really pair of ugly slip-on shoes that look like somebody bought them on AliExpress. So yeah, I probably will try these on once or twice, but probably not gonna use them very much because they are very cheap looking. But all in all, a great set. I'm really happy I bought this. I'm gonna have a lot of fun mixing and matching this. All right, next up we have the World Traveler set from Ireland, which is part of my heritage. So I think that this is a really cool set. And if you wanna know a story about this set, I originally bought this in 2021 when I, but I, that's when I first purchased from AmericanGirl.com because the 35th anniversary dolls were still out. And I had recently returned the first doll that I ever bought, which was the biggest mistake of my life. I wish I hadn't returned her. I didn't realize how into dolls I was gonna be. So, especially like American Girl. So, um, without getting into the story, I'd returned my original Molly that I bought on eBay. I wish I could have her back more than anything, but she was gone. And in the meantime, I went ahead and bought the 35th anniversary Molly so that I could basically have a brand new Molly to be like my first Molly. Um, Cause I was still trying to figure out which was the correct Molly to get. And she was like low in stock, like limited quantities on American Girl. So I went ahead and just kind of impulse bought her thinking like, okay, well I'll have a brand new Molly from American Girl. So when I did that, my intention was to like get her and kind of maybe get some different outfits for her. And it was coming up on Halloween in a couple of months. And so I bought this outfit thinking I was gonna dress Molly up as Daria for Halloween. <laughs> so I feel like this had like this, um, especially this cardigan here, like I thought would have been a really good 
uh, jacket basically for Mo uh, yeah for Molly's Daria costume <laughs> again because she had the glasses and everything I just I thought that would have been a really fun Halloween costume so that's why I originally bought this but I ended up returning it because I had bought way too much stuff and truthfully the version like when I bought it the first time the tights in the set had its big black mark on them so I just went ahead and returned them and I never bought it again until now and I'm really glad I have it again because I do really like this set now I probably will never use this t-shirt um we've got this like i think this is a page boy hat like a paper boy hat which is really cool i'll probably find a y2k use for this but yeah this is another really great set with really great separates so we have the yellow tights mark free this time which is awesome we have another really great pair of brown boots and now that i have a few boy dolls this is going to be really handy again to use as separates because this will be perfect for my boy dolls i'm really happy with these and we have another one of my favorite pieces from this set which is the plaid skirt again very very 90s i love this and i think this would actually look really great as a piece and maybe like a custom Christmas outfit. That's kind of what I was thinking for this is maybe one of the girls could have this and maybe like a red sweater on for Christmas. I don't know, it was just an idea. But like I said, I might ultimately end up turning this into a Daria costume or not because I am pretty lazy with dressing my dolls. All right, and I guess the most related thing next would be the pink chic accessories, which I am so excited about because of that tiny little ring, which was the reason I bought this entire set in the first place. Otherwise, I don't really care that much about this set. So we have yet another pink beret that doesn't have like any sort of like finial on the top, which is interesting. I don't know why this looks so strange without any sort of button or tag or anything at the top. We have a really ugly purse. Sorry, I'm being really mean right now. This, I mean, it's basic, but again, I don't know. I don't know a lot about purses. So I don't know. Does this look like something Chanel would sell to you? Oh yeah, actually we have another really great piece in here, which is these sunglasses that I love. Now I think these are the same glasses that were part of Yvette's meat accessory, accessories. So I really love those glasses, but I just didn't want to buy her entire meat accessories for like 30 something dollars or whatever they cost. But these are really great. They're like a nice shade of light pink. So I think this will be super versatile. I'm definitely excited to put these on my dolls because as many of you know, I don't love the way they're doing the eyes on the dolls lately. And by lately, I mean like the last like 25 years. <laughs> but um, I do think that these are really cool glasses and they'll do a great job at covering up any eyes that I don't particularly love. And my favorite piece from this collection, <laughs> not the silica gel packet, this tinky tiny little ring, which is so cute. It's even more cute in person now. Again, you aren't ever really sure how big things are when you get them. But this thing is so tiny. If I breathe too heavily, I'm going to snort this up my nose. So I need to be careful. But I really, really love this. At least while I have it. This is so ending up in the vacuum cleaner. All right, before we open the doll, I did want to show you one thing from Courtney's collection. Because I'm not going to bore you with like tights and a mini skirt. Like who cares? But this jacket is one of the coolest things from her collection. And secretly, I want to figure out how to do like a cowboy look for one of the girls. So I think this would be a great piece for that because like I said, we got those pink cowboy boots. So I don't know. I think we're going to be able to put together a pretty cool outfit. So even though most of Courtney's collection is going to stay in boxes, I think I'm going to keep this one loose still because it, I just think it's a really fun piece. and I kind of want to play around with it. It's so campy. So this is my first time seeing this in person. And I have to say the quality is pretty good although i will say it does not feel like a fabric that's going to stand the test of time we shall see but it's a little on the thin side i have to say which you know isn't terrible because sometimes things are so thick that like they look bulky on the dolls and it looks kind of strange so i don't know i will see what we think of it when we get it on a doll but i think this is a really cool piece again it's so ridiculous <laughs> i kind of wish there was fringe on the back because i think you could end up taking some really cool pictures of a doll like from behind with like that fringe like running across the back seam but you know all in all for what this costs i think this is a really good piece so yeah i'm happy with it all right let me clean up this giant mess and we will unbox truly me number 124. oh wait my dumbass forgot to show you these awesome shoes which were some of my favorite things i bought from this haul so like i said i got the super gay sparkly pink cowboy 
cowboy boots, which I was so excited about. All the new shoes that they released, I was so into. I wish I had gotten this, like the sparkly rainbow boots as well as those like, I think the brand is called Golden Goose, but those like, uh, like knockoff Golden Goose, like running shoes, I thought were really cool too. I probably will get those, but I just was getting so much shit. It was like time to like, just press the buy button and move on. But I really love the shoes that they're making lately in these. Were, are not a disappointment. How cool are these? And they're very, very metallic. Like this is basically like a Mylar balloon finish. So these are so cool. I'm really impressed that these are as cheap as they are. I think they're like $16, which I, I don't know how you can have a human being like design, cut and sew and put all this together and then ship it all the way from China to here. I probably don't want to know, but these are really, really cute. And again, I can't believe how cheap they are. Oh my God, I love these. And then these are probably my favorite pair of shoes from this entire new release because it's a little bit out of the norm for what American Girl would do because these are pretty hardcore. Like I know so many chicks that wore shoes like this in the 90s and early 2000s. I mean, hello, like you put these on a doll and she is ready to go to a kitty concert. Like she is fresh out of Hot Topic. This just might be my absolute favorite pair of shoes that American Girl has ever made. So I really wanna commend them for doing something kind of bold and risky, but I imagine I might be getting more pairs of these. These are really, really, really cool. Dang, I feel like I really need to make like a 90s historical character. They've released so many things that I feel like there's enough there to make like a 90s like riot girl. Let's see if I actually do it. Okay, for real this time, that was my giant clothing and accessories haul. So now let's open number 124. All right, so here is number 124, one of my absolute favorite dolls in their current line. So. When the end of year sale happened, these dolls I think were like $85 down from like 115. So I had had my eye on her for a while because I absolutely love the Corinne Tan face sculpt. So, you know, as I've said before, I am trying to keep my like new dolls down to a minimum. And by new, I just mean stuff that was made after like 1994. So I'm, while trying to keep that down to a minimum, what I'm hoping to do is not repeat like face sculpts and stuff, even though it's gonna be impossible. So I ended up trying to pick between her and Corinne and I ended up going with 124 instead of Corinne because do y'all care about these books? I feel like you've seen these unboxed. If you're watching this and made it this far into the video, I, you've probably seen this book like a million freaking times. So um, anyway, so what um, I ended up doing is basically saying, okay, should I get Corinne or 124? Because it's the same face sculpt. And I ultimately decided on 124 because especially at the time, I think she and Corinne were the same price. $85 and I ended up going with 124 because I'd heard from a lot of people that they look pretty much the same other than like having the like Corinne has blue hair so I just decided to go with the one that just had like natural colored hair because I, she would be easier to dress so I ended up getting her and um, really love her obviously because I kept her um, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start taking her out of the box because it takes me forever because if you know me and if you don't know me by now you will never 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 know me um i like to try and get these out of the box without cutting the tags because i am a psychopath so it'll take me a second and i'll just tell you a story while i'm doing it so anyway i ultimately ended up going with like i said 124 so she would be easier to put outfits on i wouldn't have to work around the blue hair and then Corinne, like a week later, went on sale again. Like they marked her down to like, I think it was $65, which is like such a stupid low price. And I love that doll. She's my favorite girl of the year. And I didn't have any girl of the year dolls at that point. So I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'll just go ahead and buy Corinne and then pick between the two once they got here. And so I did and Corinne got here. And once I like compared them like in person together, they look really different to me. Like, and it's not just like the hair color and the way they've done the eyebrows. There's something about the face sculpt. Like to me, it looks like a completely different person. Um, I can't, I don't know. It's hard for me to like explain it. There's just subtle differences in like the shape of their heads and everything. So I don't know. I just ended up keeping both, which I said I wasn't going to do, <laughs> but I did it. So anyway, yeah, for now I've got both Corinne and 124 and if I can find Corinne, I'll bring, once we get her out of the box, I'll bring her out just so you can have a quick look at them side by side. But 
yeah, I'm really excited about 124 because, like I said, I just I think they did such a beautiful job with Corinne's face sculpt, and I feel like my what I originally thought when they did Corinne is that they were going to start making the eyes bigger on the dolls because the Corinne sculpt has like a slightly bigger eye, like you can't do eye swaps with her and other dolls. So I thought maybe it was their intention, like moving forward, that all new sculpts might have like larger eyes and maybe that'll still be the case i don't know if we've seen a new face sculpt since her maybe i think claudia was released after corinne but they would have been developed like kind of at the same time so who knows maybe they won't but i just thought it was really cool um you know because i i'm not one of those people that just hates every single change that a company makes like no matter what so i know that it like makes a doll seem more doll like to have like larger than human portion eyes so yeah i figured they were like trying to do things i guess i talked about this in the last video but i feel like they were basically just trying to do things to make them compete more with like lol and rainbow high and all those doll lines that have like super like oversized eyes but i don't know we'll see i think it looks really good and i like it so yeah i kept both dolls all right her limbs are free and now it's time for my favorite part which is taking off the neck strap all right let's see if we get a good pop uh, we did not. It actually ripped, which sucks. Okay, anyway, let's get her out. And the obligatory hair caught in the neck brace. <laughs> okay, here she is. All right, number 124. I love this doll. I, she is so beautiful. I They just hit it out of the park with this face sculpt. It's same with Claudia. I think, if, correct me if I'm wrong, am I missing somebody? But I feel like the two most recent face sculpts that American Girl has done are Claudie and Corinne. So unless I'm forget, who am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but those both sculpts are so beautiful. And I think that they're doing a really, really, really good job with the face sculpts on these dolls. So um, yeah, anytime they release a new face sculpt and I like it, I'm gonna, I just feel like I have to have it now. So anyway, let me get these casts off her arms and legs. All right, so I know I made a joke in the beginning about this outfit being ugly, but I actually really like it. I mean, it's not perfect. It could be better, certainly. But, you know, I am a millennial from the South and we like really tacky patterns all mixed together. So I don't know. I feel like I've seen plenty of outfits like this. So again, yeah, it really doesn't bother me. I think it's kind of cute and I love leopard print, but we'll change her today because I know just about everybody else hates this meat outfit. So anyway, I think it's time to take her hair nut off. What do you think? All right, let me get it started because it takes me like 10 minutes trying to do this without being able to see it. All right, as always, since we're friends, you get the first look. Oh God, isn't she gorgeous? All right. Here comes the hair. Nut. Okay, if you're working, this is time to pay attention. The hair nut's coming off. All right, three, two, one. Oh my God, I'm about to rip this doll's wig off. Hang on. Okay, for real this time. Oh yeah, she is gorgeous. I love this doll so much. Let's see how her hair is maybe a touch on the thin side, but it's really not bad. Oh my God, I absolutely love her. I will say that this uh, doll does look a little bit older than like the, I mean, not that I'm like an expert on what like kids ages are, but to me, she looks a little bit more like a teenager maybe. And I know maybe that was some of the intent with like, especially like the World by Us line that they were trying to make dolls that looked a little bit older than like eight or nine years old. And I certainly think this doll could like pass for a teenager possibly. Oh, she has, I think, Wait a minute. Does this is this doll supposed to have like face framing layers or did I have one with like a chunk of hair cut out of her? Hang on, can y'all see this? What the hell is this? Is that what fashion is now or did I get a f***ed up doll? No, I think it was intentional. I think it's the same on both sides. It just cut it cut me off guard. Um yeah, I have to say I think if it blends in well, it'll be fine. I know I think that Hoffman twins hair is kind of like this, but I think they could have maybe used a little bit of care, a little bit more care on this doll to maybe kind of step it down. But this looks a little bit chunky. But again, I don't know like the first thing about women's hairstyles. So maybe this is like normal. <laughs> but to me, as someone who's had a buzz cut for like 99% of their life, you know, it looks a little choppy. But I have to say, this is a really, really gorgeous doll. I'm definitely keeping her. Um, so yeah, she and Corinne, I think are both going to stay. But I've been hogging all the eye time with her. But yeah, I really, again, I have no real bad words to say about this doll. I will say the way that they're doing the eyelashes on 
these newer dolls, especially like the Disney dolls and stuff, is I just think it's too many lines. Like these crow's feet eyelashes don't really do it for me. I wish they could figure out a way to make the actual like hairy <laughs> eyelashes that are attached to the eyeball. I wish they could figure out a way to make those flare out more at the top so they wouldn't feel the need to like draw on more lines to the doll's face. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to like not be as critical because like I've said before, I love all dolls. I, you know, I'm not a person that will look at a doll and be like, that's ugly. I hate that. But I am also a critical person. So, um, yeah, I can always find like room for improvement on things. But overall, I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. I really, really love her. I will say as well, I think her eyebrows are very similar, if not exactly the same as Corinne's. And they're one of my favorite eyebrow patterns that they've done. I think it looks very, very natural and not as drawn on. So again, this is one of the prettiest dolls in my collection. She is shedding like though. So there's hair all over this table. But again, that's normal for new dolls, especially ones that don't have like curl or braids or anything in their hair. They are going to shed. So I always like to like run my fingers through their hair like right when I get them at first, just because I don't like it to end up like all over my lap or something if I'm like redressing her later. So it's always good to kind of get all the shedding done in the beginning. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with her. And speaking of millennial, she's got a side part, which, you know, I think looks really cute, even though it's kind of harder to do like a symmetrical hairstyle. But uh, one of these days, I wish they would start making dolls with bangs again. I really miss bangs because that's what like all the original American Girl dolls had. So um, other than my complaint about like maybe having a little bit more diversity, I really think that they're doing a really great job with their dolls still and at some point I think it would be fun to make a video about the things that I love that American Girl is doing now versus like the Pleasant Company days. I think that could be kind of a fun video to make like the stuff that I love versus the stuff that I hate that they've done because like I said I have a lot of opinions but um, yeah all in all I couldn't be happier with this doll. I mean I think she does have like a little bit of a kink in her eyelashes, but I might be able to clean that up. Um, I'm certainly happy enough with her that I don't want to exchange her. So let's find an outfit to put on her. I think it'll be fun to get her dressed up. All right, so I think I have three different things that we can mix and match today so that it's not just like putting on the same boring outfit you've seen a million times. So we'll make her sort of like a cute girly outfit maybe, maybe one that looks a little bit like 90s. Let's see what we can come up with, but um, yeah. So one quick question I have for you while I'm like doing all of this is, do y'all like the dressing my dolls videos? Cause I've done a few of them and some of them perform well and some of them don't get watched as much. Now, admittedly, I generally don't watch videos like that. Um, with a few exceptions, there's some that I like um, watching. So I have heard from people in the past though that they don't particularly like watching someone just put random outfits on their dolls. So I'm curious as far as like all of y'all are concerned, do you like videos like that? Or would you prefer stuff that's like a little bit more informational? Like I'm always open to suggestions for things that you would like to see on the channel. And again, I know we've been doing like a lot of newer American Girl stuff versus older Pleasant Company um, stuff, but we're gonna start diving back into Pleasant Company as well. So I haven't completely Guess whose battery just died? Y'all should consider joining my Patreon so that I can afford to buy a continuous battery pack. All right, anyway, so where were we? Um, I think I was asking y'all what kind of videos y'all wanna see on this channel because I'm coming up with a content plan for the next few months and I would really love to know the types of videos you wanna see. And I have heard from people that they don't particularly love like dressing my dolls videos. I know some people really like them because it's a relaxing thing to have on while you're trying to fall asleep or just chill. And then other people will just say they're super boring and they don't like watching them. So I am kind of curious if you like that kind of style of video or, you know, again, what do you want to see from me? I'm happy to share it if um, there's something that you're wanting to learn about Pleasant Company or if you want to see more of my collection. Any and all of that, I'm like I said, I'm just very curious what kinds of things that you're hoping to see on this channel because if I can make them, I probably will. So yeah, let's see if we can do kind of like a 90s look for her. I can't remember if I said it before. I was filming like half an hour ago and I can't remember where I left off. So yeah, like I said before, it's really fun just kind of getting into newer American Girl stuff just because there's less pressure buying all of these things because... You know, when you collect vintage rare items, you're like fighting with like 25 other people for one thing. So it can be really stressful. And obviously some of you know that I've had a couple of really bad experiences on Facebook that made me leave the platform altogether, which I've talked about speaking of Patreon. I've talked about that 
in depth on Patreon. So if you're interested in knowing why and how all of that went down, um, be sure to check out patreon.com slash I dream of Johnny. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, I just think that it's been a nice little break that I've taken over the last couple of months just to kind of dive into the world of new American girl. So like I said, there's no pressure and you can just, if you want it, it's usually available in stock and you can just buy it and not have to fight for it. So yeah, it's been kind of fun just kind of scrolling through the website. I'm sure a lot of you do this too, where you scroll through the website and just sort of put together a wish list and do the thing that we all did when we were kids looking through the catalog saying like, okay, if I could get any three Truly Me dolls right now, which ones would they be? And then you add them to your wish list. And one of the things that I've been doing lately, especially is browsing AmericanGirl.com and just adding things to my wish list that I think that would um, basically work well as separates, like as far as like putting interesting outfits together, especially for boy dolls, because I don't have that many boy outfits, but I have like four or five boy dolls now. So yeah, it's been kind of fun, like looking for outfits where you can pick and choose pieces, like some of the separate pieces from them to put together, like as part of another outfit, which essentially is what I'm doing now, right? So like this turtleneck, for instance, which is not as turtlenecky as the last one, I don't think, which is a little disappointing. I, I love a high turtleneck. Um, it's just, you know, it's kind of serving a look, right? But this does look pretty good, I have to say. So yeah, it's just, um, that's kind of what I've been doing on, um, like when I have free time on the couch, just kind of trying to relax at the end of the night is basically trying to put together outfits from pieces of other outfits on americangirl.com. That makes sense. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, which um, we'll see how it goes. Again, I always say I'm not a fashion person, so this could look like totally idiotic by the time I'm done with it. But anyway, we had fun and that's all that matters. So what do we think? Should we put tights with this? I feel like, like a pair of knee socks would look good with this, but I didn't get anything of the sort today. So I think we might just go ahead and put some stockings on her. Let's see what the shoes look like without it. You know I'm putting the Hot Topic shoes on. All right, here's without tights. Look, I still have to get used to the idea of being able to make things not mint anymore and not freak out about it. Cause just like stretching these tights out and everything, I'm like, ooh, they're not new anymore. But also I got them for free and they're brand new and they've probably made thousands and thousands of these, so. Again, good exercise for me to not be so precious about everything. Is this how y'all put tights on? Cause this is how I put tights on. All right, and this is with tights. You know what? I thought I wasn't gonna like the tights on here, but I think I'm gonna leave them on even though I did a really bad job putting them on. I think it looks good. Did any of y'all watch Will and Grace? There was a, um, a bit that Jack and Will did on it <laughs> where um, they're at some function or whatever. And then Jack just goes, oh, I have to go. Sorry, my hose is riding up. And Will's like, you're wearing pantyhose? And Jack goes, no. <laughs> okay, I wish I had a necklace to put with this, but I don't. But I will say this doll is continuing to shed hair. Beret, the beret's kind of cute, but let's see, we'll save it for the end. Sunglasses, oh my God, how good does she look in these sunglasses? I swear, you probably can do no wrong by this doll. I have to say, I was right to pick her as one of my favorite Truly Me dolls because she looks so cool like again her face sculpt is great and i'm kind of torn about leaving the glasses on like the sunglasses because they do cover her eyes and corinne's eyes are basically my favorite i have to say probably yeah my favorite eyes that they've done on like their current dolls they don't look as like plasticky and weird to me for some reason and again i love the scale I just think this doll looks so cool and she totally looks like she could be Isabel Hoffman's best friend. So I might end up just putting her as part of my 2000s collection. I really, really, really like her. Oh, I almost forgot the ring. Let's put the ring on her. Do we want to start taking bets on how long this ring will be in my possession before it gets sucked up in the vacuum cleaner and ends up at the dump? This is the first time I've ever gotten a ring for an American Girl doll because again, most of my stuff is vintage and the rings didn't start happening until much later on. But I think it's such a cute additional detail like the ear piercing and stuff so um hopefully they stay on really well but again i have no experience with it okay it's pretty clampy i feel like this will stay on i think we'll put it on our index finger all right so the beret does look really good with this outfit i'm actually kind of proud of myself for putting together an outfit that i think doesn't look too like mishmashed and terrible i think she's gonna live in this for a little while but 
Like I said, I am just really enamored with this doll. Again, I think she's going to look great with the Hoffman twins. So she'll probably ultimately live with them. Um, that said, I, you know, I typically don't name or create backstories for my dolls. I just kind of collect and display things. But it is kind of tempting to pick names for them. And I'm trying to remember... Um, I might pick like a name from like the Babysitter's Club book or something if I want to give this doll a name. Maybe if you have some suggestions, maybe leave it in the comments. But I gotta say, I am really, really into this doll. I think she looks so freaking cool. And I'm glad that I ended up getting a bunch of different outfits finally from American Girl because like I said, so many of my dolls just end up living in their meat outfits because it's like, well, I have a bunch of points. Like if, I'm, if I have $150 to spend, like why not just get a doll? But it was really worth it this time to like show some restraint and I'll add my 50 billionth doll to my collection and actually get some really interesting, cute looking outfits that I can mix and match. Cause like I said, I think it'll be fun. Like, like a lot of times I'll be on the phone or just have something that I have to listen to and I need something to fidget with and dressing dolls and just kind of playing around with outfits is kind of a fun thing to do to kind of keep my mind focused. It's sort of like a mindless thing to do, but it feels good to just kind of like do something with your hands. But yeah, I really think she's so cool. All right, so let me know in the comments what you think I should name this doll. Again, keeping in mind that she's probably gonna be like a 90s to maybe 2000s historical character. So I don't want any like modern names, like, uh, I don't, what are modern names? I have no idea, but we're, th we're talking like, Picking a name like Stacy or Claudia, I don't know, like I said, we'll start with a babysitter's club or something. But yeah, I think I might actually name this doll because I kind of want to add her to my world of 90s and 2000s historical dolls. So let me know what you think I should name her. Don't forget to check out my shop at idreamofjohnny.com where you can get tons of awesome merch that really helps support this channel. And I've been putting some of my collection and stuff on the shop as well. So there's a lot of vintage pleasant company items that you can purchase and a lot of them are selling fast because I try and sell them for for a pretty decent deal. I try and do it for a little less than you would get on eBay. So be sure to check it out at idreamofjohnny.com. And again, don't forget to join me at Patreon at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny where there is tons of extra content that you can't see anywhere else on the internet. I do multiple exclusive videos there every single month. And right now it's probably the best way you can support this channel so I can continue making videos. If you wanna keep hanging out on YouTube, I have tons more videos like this one right here. And until I see you again, Please take care of yourself, drink lots of water, and I will see you really soon. Bye.